Bishop. You got two driveways, kind of one here where the boat's sitting, one down at that end. I'll walk down that one. Real nice looking, new, newly built looking house, to neighbor to the right. There's no neighbor to the left, or even, there's not even another neighbor really in sight. Across the street, it's wooded area for as long as I can see, and you can't hear any kind of loud highways or anything. So this driveway is in pretty good condition. The roof from what I can see is good on both sides. We're not gonna go in the front door, so. Actually, yeah, no, we're not. So here's that view. Front walkway is in pretty good shape. Overgrown so you can't see the front of the house that well, but the right side is a um, windowed in porch Structurally it feels good windows probably need to re be replaced or cleaned up the other driveway just has some grass growing out of it and some cracking otherwise it's pretty good don't see any damage in the roof struck or the Foundation looks pretty good. The siding's in good shape. I don't see any damage on that anywhere. Just needs paint. And the foundation is in good shape. It's um, this like fake brick looking stuff over top of whatever's behind it. Yeah, cinder block. But I don't see any cracking in the cinder block. There is some uh, issues with the fake brick. So it probably just needs to be painted. Here's where the outdoor... Uh, HVAC unit was. It looked like they got a pretty new uh, system in there, but mm, the outdoor unit's been stolen. And then uh, there's some water damage in the front of the house. Um, in the living room floor is a uh, carpet's like soaked. It used to be a fuel company tank here. It says Murphy's Fuel Company. So I'm thinking water gets through these holes somehow and has damaged the floor in the living room. Still feels sturdy. The moisture reading's high, and it's, you can tell it's wet. It looks wet, feels wet. There's another sun porch on the back of the house. Which, uh, that's where I'm going to go in. Whole backyard looks like it's almost all concrete. Big old parking pad. Carport's in great shape roof and all as well as the shed looks good neighbors are well kept fence is in decent shape only on this side is it wooden and then the rest of the way around it's a low metal fence over on that side it's completely overgrown but it seems to be in a, it doesn't seem to be broken anywhere on this side of the house you got a couple more tanks there and there basement access and I already showed you the roof over here there's actually two basement accesses so in this screened in porch back here seems pretty sturdy as well just needs a clean up Windows probably. Alright, we're gonna start with the basement. Go straight down here. Extremely moldy down here. It's six nine finished, so it's definitely a finishable space. 
It's like some kind of heater, it looks like. So this is a open living area here, although there is a beam or bulkhead that comes down. That's right at six foot, so that's pretty low. But it's a pretty small area that it comes down. Alright, so over here is a closet where the boiler is, which I believe doubles as a hot water heater. Because I don't see a hot water heater anywhere. Boiler doesn't look too, like it's too bad. So you see a bunch of mold. Here's an electric panel. I can't tell how many amps it was. It's worn off. The main breaker is worn off right there. And it doesn't say over here. So, it looks like to me it said 150 or 100 amp, which is standard for this size house. Um, but from what I can see, wiring, you can't see much. But I can't see anything wrong with it. It's alright. So, and then on this side. We got a full bath right here, stand up shower, and then they got a kitchen over here, the laundry room over there, kitchen over here, and the exit. Really moldy over here. It's all paneling down here. It's all moldy. It needs to go. And then on the other side of the stairs over here is a laundry room. Slop sink and laundry. Closet. Underneath of the stairs closet. Over here you can see this joist. They actually look a uh, good color pretty new and then near the front of the house is where the moisture is at up here the only place I can really see a joist out of the whole house really I mean back here it looks pretty good again don't see any moisture really and towards the front of the house I found my way in here through some cobwebs and that looks a little moldier and more moist. And this is where the floorboards upstairs are wet. So that's where we'll go next, upstairs. So that was the back door we came in and went straight down to the basement, which is in the kitchen here. Which the kitchen's pretty small and it leads out to the an open dining and living area. So definitely could open it up, knock that wall out right there. Open this all up. Windows are all vinyl, but you can see it looks like they've already been painted once by somebody. Just don't know if they're gonna look, because I think they turned a yellow color. So I think we need new windows and new cabinets. They're painted as well, but they're pretty old and I don't know. Uh, let's see. Most of them are working. It's all copper plumbing, but like I said, I, or I don't know if I did say, but I couldn't find the hot water heater down there. So we need some hot water here. There's a living dining room area. On this level, it's all plaster. Up towards the front of the dining room is where this wet wood is. And there's actually a big bow in the floor, about six inches high from the wood being moist. So a nice big living dining room area and then this door goes out to that front porch area that I showed you already. Coat closet. I think this is, bedrooms are similar size, this might be the smaller of the two. All plaster again. Over here the floor is not wet on this side of the house. I think it's because of those two holes in the front of the house. It has a closet. Medium sized closet. Second bedroom. It's just 
just a slight bit bigger. Nothing too spacious, it doesn't feel that big. Need another painted window. This has a medium closet as well. Like I said before, all the plumbing looks good, but there's no hot water here. And the full bath, shared full bath on this floor. See the tile looks loose in some areas. Alright, and that'll do it for this floor. Upstairs is just questionable on the line of being. Um, it's definitely finishable, real big area. I just don't know how if it's tall enough for a master. I think I think we could pull it off as a master. I'm not not a hundred percent, but I think so. Goes from about three foot two right here, about four feet over, about four feet over, six foot eight. Then it rounds up a little bit to six foot eleven in the middle, and then six foot eight here again, down to three foot two. And then this area, which was a closet, still can be a closet. The new, newer looking uh, HVAC system, all the ductwork looks new, and the unit. But like I said, the outdoor one's missing. And then just another little closet. That's it.